Uh, Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Rasul. Uh, I'm a graduate of mechanical engineering from Ontario Tech University and working as a robotics engineer now. Um, today I'm going to present our paper, which is Snowflow Route Optimization using Chinese Postman Problem and Taboo Search Algorithm. Um, the presentation will cover some of the research objectives, uh, framework, uh, methodologies, um, results and analyses, and uh, we'll end this presentation by the conclusion and future work. So uh, this, paper was related to the project from uh, one of the cities. So uh, the first thing we need to do was to <clears throat> analyze the current snowflow route by using the GIS, uh, Geographic Information System Technologies, um, and then uh, to carry out the efficient snowflow routing for the city of Clarington in Ontario by combining these uh, technologies and the route optimization theories. Um, third thing was to generate the best snowflow routes in terms of minimum maintenance standard, which is time for each row class, uh, total travel distance, row class priority, and the row class uh, uh, turning condition and row class conditions. Uh, the last thing was to propose an advanced and practical optimal routing strategies for, for the residential snow flowing for the actual uh, real world scenarios for the city of Clarington. So the proposed framework for this was to, we were, um, we have the data from the city, which was the road network database. Uh, we did the initial routing uh, to complete the routes. Then we applied the optimization algorithms um, using the constraints. And finally, we uh, generated the path generation or the shortest path um, uh, using the different algorithms. So if you look deep into these, uh, these boxes, then for initial routing, we use the Chinese postman problem algorithm. For optimization, we use the taboo search algorithm. The constraint we had was left turns, U turns, road class priority, road class completion. And for the path generation, we use the uh, Dysars algorithm, which is the shortest path algorithm. Uh, so if we go deep into the methodologies, the first thing is the Chinese postman problem. What actually does it helps in uh, creating and helps in uh, completion of your uh, road networks. So for example, if you can see here, uh, if you have a road network, a very simple in which we have nodes one, two, three, four, uh, in our case, it will be uh, intersections and we have edges in, and in our case will be roads. So if we have a network like this, where we have, where we need to plow uh, each edge, then we have to go over every edge. But the problem is if you go from one, two, three, uh, one, four, we cannot come back to one, which is, you can say a depot location. So in, in this case, we need to have one extra edge, which is four to one. So this is actually what the Chinese postman problem does. It sees where you need extra edges and try to complete your circuits. Or in, uh, in, in an actual case, you can say it creates uh, U-turns for your uh, for your network. So um, in this case, instead of just stopping at four, we can go back to one. Uh, and also Chinese postman problem, it makes your non-Eulerian circuit as Eulerian. Eulerian circuit is nothing but where you visit every edge once. Uh, once we have that from the Chinese postman problem, we give that to the optimization. In our case, we use the taboo search algorithm. So taboo search algorithm have different kind of memories, so long term, short term, and a taboo list. Uh, in short, what it does is actually, it try to save your last path. For example, you went from one to two, two to three, two to one, one to four, and four to one. It will keep that in mind that the last time when I was here, I followed this path. So next time what it does is it changed the neighborhoods. It changes the neighborhoods of your nodes or your intersections and try to come up with a new uh, with a new path. Uh, and based on the constraints we have, we try to get the uh, objective function value and see if this path is visible or not, or if this is good, better than the last one. So this is a very simple example. So in this example, uh, if you have this case, then the route changing the neighborhood, instead of going from one to two, we'll go one to four, four to one, two to three, three to and three come back to one. So you can see here, we are not going to the edges more than once, but we also covering every edge and we also change the path. So table search algorithm is very helpful in just changing your neighborhoods and see uh, if you get the uh, feasible routes or not. The last thing for the methodology was the uh, constraints we have. Since this is a snowplow routing, there are turns that need to be considered a lot. So for example, let's say we are coming from node one to two, from intersection one to two, and we are heading to different, different nodes ahead. It could be different. So for example, we have uh, this kind of a node, which is on this side or this angle. So what we did was we calculated the angle using the vector analysis uh, and to check the angle between our current node and the heading node. 
um, and we we get the different angles from different nodes where we're heading. And based on that, what we did, we calculate all the angles and check if they are left, left turn, U turns, or right turns, or whatever the turns we added to our paper. So uh, what we did here is we defined one chart where we different angles, different ranges for angles are dedicated to each type of angle. So if you can see here, left turn have this much of angle, U turn have this much of angle, sharp right turn and right turn. Uh, in the actual scenario, it looks like this. So for example, if you can imagine node two is on the origin of this graph, then the straight would have this much of angle, left turn would have this much of angle. Then other, uh, other turns is because in snowplow routing, it's really hard to go into the left turn while you're snow flying. And also it's not easy to go a sharp right turn uh, because of uh, when you're snow plowing and you're, you want to carry the snow with you. Uh, so if you talk about the results and analysis, uh, before going to the results, uh, we have some assumptions that we did for our uh, paper. Um, the vehicle speed that we assumed was 35 kilometers per hour. Uh, the number of trunk presented in the paper is one, just for uh, explaining everything, but in, actually the total number of trucks were 33. Uh, we have this applicable time for all class one. So you can see here, it mentions one hour for simulation and original time four hour. So original time is what we got from the city. The city said the, the class one road should be plowed within four hours. But for simulation purposes, we use that as one hour to make the results better and better. And you can see for all other road classes. Also, the number of lanes means that if you have a road, you could have one lane just going. But if you have multiple lanes, you can go and come back. So we, we also consider uh, multiple lanes. Uh, if we go to the results part, the first thing is the CPP, which is Chinese postman problem. So let's say you have an initial route of one truck, which looks like this. Uh, these labels indicate the node IDs. Um, then what Chinese postman problem does, it checks each and every node and see which of the nodes are odd degree. Odd degree means which of the nodes are non eulerian So when it identifies all these, what the next thing it does is check the shortest path of each and every odd degree node, sees where I have to add edges that the, 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 the graph will be completed, but at the same time, I don't have to add some extra extra edges so the time and the distance will not increase. And the last thing is when we have those extra edges, we can just add those to our, uh, our main initial route and then we get the full graph uh, using the Chinese postman problem. Um, here you can see here, this is a route comparison uh, based on the Chinese postman problem only and the Chinese postman problem plus the optimization. So in this table, you can see here, we have fitness value and different type of parameters that we use. Uh, so the first one is the, just a Chinese postman problem. The other one is Chinese postman problem plus the taboo search algorithm. You can see here that we have a distinctive uh, difference in the fitness value. Fitness value is nothing but just a, just a val just a, the output of our objective function depends on the left turn, U turns, total travel distance, and total time. You can see here the total tri tra travel time and total travel distance is is almost the same. But in the optimization algorithm, we reduce the amount of left turns. Uh, we reduce the amount of U-turns that are really crucial. Uh, the last thing was the number of no roads uh, failing to MMS is, um, as I mentioned, MMS is the time for each road class. So if you are going above that time, it means that specific road would fail the class. So um, in, in optimization, we also um, have lesser number of uh, a road class failing to MMS. We also added one, two more third thing to our paper. The first one was that we uh, use the um, shortest path algorithm to go from depot location to the starting point. Um, as you know that in, in the road plow and in, in the snow plowing riding, there are two or three depots in all of this in, in one city. So we have to find a shortest path from the dedicated depot to the starting point. Uh, and then last thing that we have in our paper was to check uh, to come up with the, um, with the with the with the graph that shows which roads uh, of the of the network were failed. So here you can see there are, there are edges that have labels one and zeros. So one indicate all the roads that are plowed within their time. So for example, if you talk about uh, row class one, then the total time was one hour. So 
all the roads belonging to row class one plowed within one hour would be labeled as one, but the roads class are failed that would be labeled as zero. So it's really helpful in CD to, uh, to identify which the road class need to be plowed first. Um, to conclude this paper, uh, uh, we optimize the routes for the residential snow plowing services for the city of Clarington. Uh, we use the uh, Chinese postman problem with dash algorithm and the optimization to uh, to generate an optimal path. In our case, the, the optimization algorithm was taboo search algorithm. Uh, we also use the MMS and uh, penalize the unwanted turning direction for uh, for the efficient routing. Uh, one future work to this uh, study would be validation of proposed method uh, through field tests for the actual road condition or dynamic road conditions, such as weather, such as snowing or the traffic conditions.